This is a Met Olympiad problem from Korea, year 2017. Here is a view of this geometry problem. Uh, we are given a triangle ABC and you can clearly see the circumcircle of that triangle as well. We draw the perpendicular bisector of side BC and we let it intersect on the circumcircle of triangle ABC at points P and Q respectively. Uh, also, the in-center is clearly marked and labeled as I and DEF is the touch points of the in-circle with triangle ABC. Uh, lastly, we connect EF, uh, which is the touch cord, and um, we draw a parallel line from point D uh, to a Q. As a result, um, we uh, intersect that line, that parallel red line, with EF at that point R as described in the problem. Uh, notice that uh, because EF is a touch cord, AI is perpendicular to EF and because the red line DR is parallel to AQ, it's clear that uh, DR is also perpendicular to EF. Um, and that kind of reminds us that uh, if you call this uh, point, uh, let, let's call K as the intersection of PQ and EF um, and so as a result of that point namely uh, it's clear that uh, because angle huh, uh, so we can say that uh, DMKR uh, uh, is cyclic uh, simply because um, we have two 90 degree angles namely DMK is 90 degrees as is um, KRD, KRD. Okay, um, finally, we would like to show that the circumcircle of BCR goes through that point K as well. Um, so for that, uh, I will be uh, using some uh, projective techniques. Noticing that uh, this quadrilateral is cyclic gives us the idea of extending EF, and BC and let them meet at point say T and um, let, uh, because our quadrilateral this DMKR is cyclic this implies that so therefore uh, we have that by power of a point TRTK TR times TK is equal to TD times TM And notice that we would like to show uh, that the circumcircle of BCR goes through K, suggesting that uh, we need to also show uh, that, uh, so uh, basically what we need to show is that TRTK is indeed equal to TDTM. Uh, sorry, sorry, I meant to say TBTC, right? So therefore, uh, uh, so the question, so equivalently, the question is asking for um, TR times TK by power of a point again is equal to TBTC but because TRTK is equal to TDTM which we just proved so this gives us the idea so let me change the color uh, that instead I will be showing that uh, TBTC is equal to TDTM if I can show that show um, show this then I would be done basically um, so for that, uh, I, I'm, I will make use of um, a well-known uh, theorem, um, which uh, I hope you guys remember. Uh, it's on Yufei notes, as well as in Evan Chen geometry notes, that uh, if you have, an, um, in our case, we have the A touch chord, touch chord, say the C angle bisector, angle bisector and the B uh, midline then this uh, gives us uh, so these these three they concur but uh, more importantly uh, the angle bisector for instance if I extend the CI to hit EF the touch chord namely that point here which you can call it say C prime and you connect it to B B, so the angle BC prime C is 90 degrees. Okay, so I hope that's clear. So um, let me just explain what I did. Let uh, C prime be equal to 
CI extended intersection EF and by you phase out uh, lemma let's say this lemma which involves the touch chord the angle bisector and the midline extending the angle bisector uh, hitting the uh, touch chord in this case EF the angle uh, BC prime C is 90 degrees so uh, by um, you phase out lemma it might be lemma 8 I guess uh, in his handout uh, we know that angle um, BC prime C is equal to 90 degrees by a similar uh, argumentation uh, if we extend BI and we let it intersect um, let's extend BI and also let it intersect EF at this point which I call it as B prime uh, this is such a mess. Let's remove that point E from there. Um, okay, so it, let it intersect B prime is here. E is over here. Okay, so by the same reasoning, angle uh, B, B prime C, so this angle over here, if we extend it, so this angle here is also 90 degrees, right? So angle B b prime c is also 90 degrees like uh, b c prime c that suggests that b c prime b prime c is huh? so therefore uh, because of the 90 degree angle subtending arc b c we get that uh, b c prime b prime c is also cyclic but if it is cyclic power uh, of point t with respect to that circle uh, implies that uh, therefore uh, B C prime times B uh, sorry I should say T C prime times T B prime right T C prime times T B prime is equal to T B times T C and finally uh, we can say that C prime D M B prime is also cyclic uh, to see that you can uh, focus your attention um, on um, so let's extend BC prime and uh, CB prime. So they would intersect at a point uh, which I don't know. Some some point here. Uh, let's quickly do that. Um, I don't care if it intersects on the circle or not. I have no clue. Um, so it intersects at this at this point. Say X. Do you guys uh, agree that uh, point I? happens to be the the in center is the ortho center the in center i the point i the in center of triangle abc happens to be the ortho center of this triangle xbc and does that make sense but then c prime d b prime is the nine point circle because right uh, because uh, C prime D B prime are the feet of the uh, altitudes of this triangle X B C, but of course uh, that nine point circle will also go through the point M. That suggests that uh, C prime D M B prime is also cyclic, uh, but uh, C prime uh, D M B prime uh, also cyclic uh, because simply because. Uh, you can say D, um, um, let's say, well, okay, let's just say it like that. D, uh, C prime, B prime, M, uh, nine is a nine point circle uh, of uh, triangle B, X, C. Okay. Um, and, and, and okay, so we have this other one as well. Now let's take a power of point T with respect to this circle as well. So in that case, we would get, so therefore, we have T uh, C prime times T B prime is equal to T D times T M. Aha, but that does the trick now. So we needed to show that uh, T D times T M is equal to TB times TC. Now TD times TM is equal to TC primes times TB prime. TB times TC is also equal to TB prime times TC prime. So therefore these two quantities are indeed equivalent and uh, that shows uh, the uh, desired uh, result. There's uh, obviously multiple ways to um, 
there, there are other ways, non-projective ways to show this uh, equality, uh, but uh, this one was uh, pretty nice. An alternative way would be to uh, observe that the points B, C, D and T are uh, harmonic. Huh? So you can easily see that uh, again B, C, D, T uh, is harmonic. Let, let's do it like this. Alternatively, right? You could have done B, C, D, T uh, observing that these points are harmonic because um, because A, D is uh, uh, so A, D, uh, B, E and C, F they meet at the Gorgon point and so this is a very well-known configuration and as a result because of this this implies that md times m uh, t is equal to mb square md times mt is equal to mb square this is also a very well-known lemma in uh, evan chan's egmo book and now you can uh, you can confirm that td times tm uh, is indeed equal to TB t times TC by just uh, making some length, uh, observing some length relationships, which we can do it. Uh, let me just do it here. TD times TM is equal to, um, well, uh, I, I can keep the TM and I can rewrite TD as TM minus MD, TM minus MD, but that's just TM square minus TM times uh, md tm times md but we have observed earlier that tm times md is equal to mb square simply because of this harmonic uh, bundle so therefore uh, i can rewrite this as tm square minus so tm md i'm replacing it with mb square and now difference of squares should give us uh, tm minus mb uh, times tm plus m b and um and and that should be sufficient right so tm plus um well tm plus mb but mb is equal to mc right so tm plus mc is just tc so this portion here is just tc and tm minus mb is just tb and boom so we we have shown that td tm is equal to tbtc again so regardless um well again this is a projective uh, solution obviously uh you can use for instance menelaus if you don't want to do any projective stuff uh but that uh, that solves this beautiful problem i hope to see you guys in our next lecture